In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Join me in prayer. On my heart, imprint your image, blessed Jesus, King of grace, that life's riches, cares, and pleasures never may your work erase. Let the clear inscription be, Jesus crucified for me. Is my life my hope's foundation, and my glory and salvation. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen in me. Alleluia. <clears throat> Christ our Lord says in John 10 verse 3, The sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. There are some voices that are immediately recognizable, unique voices that you know right away. From the nasally voice of the nanny Fran Drescher to the scolding of Ricky Ricardo as he lectures Rosie Lucy. Why did I say Rosie? I'm sorry, Rosie. He doesn't lecture you. Don't worry. <laughs> You're okay today, Rosie. Ricky, there we go. Lucy with some explaining to do. <laughs> From Willie Nelson's breathy country music to Frank Sinatra's olive oil smooth classics, we all recognize certain voices over others. Then there's personal voices in our lives, voices of family, friends, and even a dog's bark or a cat's meow. Those voices affect us in many ways. My mother's voice used to calm me down, letting me know that everything's going to be all right. My wife's voice strengthens me, letting me know that I'm loved, supported, and not alone. My father's voice lifts my spirit, and all my sons, when they're all speaking, well, rather much yelling at the same time, it's like an orchestra warming up, or the final lap at Lowe's Motor Speedway. But those boys give me joy that can't be explained. I recognize each voice and what that voice does for me. And I'm sure you have those voices in your life. For there are many voices in our lives, some good and some bad. We have voices that comfort and voices that terrify, voices that build up and those that tear down. Voices that encourage and that depress. You have the devil's voice. That voice that comes around after you've failed yet again. That voice that says, really? Again? Thought you were going to stop that little pet sin, didn't you? You're a failure. You love yourself more than anyone else. Did Christ really say that your sin is forgiven no matter what it may be? Let's count all the ways you've failed this week. So goes the voice of the devil. Or maybe there's the voice of the world, that voice that reminds you of your mistakes and never lets you forget it. Or it's the voice that builds you up so much that you're terrified, stressed out every day that you're going to mess up, let people down because of how much responsibility you have for so many people's well-being. And then there's that voice that never leaves you alone, that old Adam that nags you day and night. He harasses you during the day, 
and corrupts your dreams, turning them into nightmares of what ifs, what could happen in the future, and those nightmares that bring back your past transgressions. That little voice inside your head that reminds you of how much you need to do or how much you haven't done. That voice that brings to memory all your past transgressions and that voice that is always plotting new sins. That prideful old Adam that puffs you up or the gloomy old Adam that brings you to tears. Yes, you've got voices all around you, within you, all the time. Have you ever had those days when it seems like it won't let up? The devil, the world, and the old Adam won't stop nitpicking you and reminding you that you're a sinner who has and continues to fail, who makes mistakes, a sinner who outside of Christ is no saint at all. Now, I wish I could tell you today that those voices are going to go away. That if you pray really hard, if you read your Bible diligently, if you really make sure to go to every activity at church, if you really make an effort and trust in Christ, then those voices will stop speaking. But I can't promise you that because if I did, then I'd be a liar and not a faithful pastor. Those voices will be with you until death. I can't tell you that they will fade away or die out. They're with you until the end. But what I can tell you is something better. There's another voice that is louder, sweeter, and doesn't end in death, but endures for all eternity. That voice is the voice of the only shepherd, your Lord Jesus the Christ, who says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. And there you have it, dear little lambs. The devil's mouth duct taped shut. The world muted and the old Adam drowned so that you hear only Christ. And what a great voice his is. His voice doesn't tear you down, but builds you up. Not because you've done something noteworthy this week. Jesus doesn't come to you this Sunday and say, Well done, you've been a better saint this week. Let's progress next week. No, he comes and builds you up, not based on your merit, but upon his mercy and grace. He comes so that you may have life, eternal life, to the fullest. His voice doesn't terrify you in your sin. No, his voice comforts you in holy absolution. He isn't like the devil who brings vast past transgressions. No, Christ erases your sin and forgets it forever. His voice doesn't remind you of your failures. His voice doesn't bring back all the times you have messed up. No, His voice cries out to you His success, His victory that He won on the cross for you. His voice cries to you, I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me. Jesus knows your sins. He knows your demons. He knows all those voices that surround you and are that dwell within you. He knows all this about you and does something about it. He lays down his life for you so that his voice may be heard, so that you may know him. 
Know Jesus then this day, beloved. Know his love for you, his sacrifice, his compassion, his patience, his mercy, his heart that bleeds out in unconditional love for you. Know his voice, dear sheep, for his voice does not chastise you, but comforts you in the midst of all the other voices that drag you down. May you, beloved saints, sheep who hear the voice of your shepherd, always be comforted by the voice, that unique, one-of-a-kind voice of your good, noble, right, and only shepherd, Jesus the Christ. May his voice silence the devil, the world, and that old Adam all the days of your life. And may his voice always be in your ears and dwell in your heart. May Christ always send faithful men to be his voice, so that no matter how loud the devil may roar, the Lion of Judah may silence him through the mouths of sinful men, your pastor. May that be the blessing upon Christ Lutheran all your days that Christ continue to send faithful men to preach the good news. For a hireling will only lead you astray. A hireling does nothing but destroy and runs away the moment the wolf comes to kill. Isn't it great that Christ has done that for all of you? I mean, think of that. Isn't it great <laughs> that no matter how much y'all have messed up, which you have, no matter much how I've messed up, which <laughs> obviously I have, no matter how much Pastor Hewen has messed up, no matter how many guys on that wall out there have, Christ still sends shepherds to feed you. Isn't that great? What other blessing can you have in life that it's not in your control but in Christ's? That you are dear little lambs that all the days of your life will be fed, nourished, strengthened, renewed, and claimed by your shepherd, Jesus the Christ. May Christ always send you until he comes again on the last day, faithful men, to shepherd you in good pastures, to feed you beside quiet waters, in order that your cup of forgiveness your cup of mercy may always runneth over. Worry not, little flock. Christ will always make sure that you hear his voice, that you may know that you are forgiven, that you are claimed, that you are loved. Alleluia! Christ is risen! He is risen indeed. Alleluia! Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We rise for prayer. Let us pray for the whole Christian church, that as God the Father raised Jesus from the dead, we too would be raised. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.